the rippling effect is some sort of it's not a disease it's like some sort of condition right they call it rippling muscle disease though as far as okay. i know yeah. yeah but technically it's a cramp it's a cramp yeah yeah Something but not everyone can do that no yeah and so I knew like, oh, wow, there would be some kind of movement possible there, right? Yeah. And then as I experienced it more and more to happen, then I thought, ah, that's how he does it. You tense it up, you let the fibers, let's get shortened, let's say, yeah. right? And you squeeze it and then you stretch it out and it cannot extend as quickly. Yeah. So it starts to ripple in this way. Yeah. But you would also see in every other muscle, you see where, how the bicep switches there as well. Yeah. Like it does it everywhere, kind of. But, but there's nothing bad to the disease, no? Maybe you cramp more? Let's be honest, uh, the heart is also a muscle. Yeah. And that's oh, my biggest concern that's always. Scary. It's like, what if I have such a bad cramp that my heart gets a cramp?